Hi all, um, welcome back. So in this session, we'll find out how we can provide a schema to your data frame. So as I told you in my previous session, we need to make sure that while reading the data from your source file, it's always good to give schema else the reason is the spark if doesn't know the data type of the data which is coming in it has to read the data and set the schema right that's a time consuming so as a best practice you always have to think about improving your application performance so this is uh, part of that one small step so in my real life what i'll do is when i get the file from the source system i always check with them what are the different data type of the fields which is coming in yeah it's true that they may be coming in a text file or csv file so all the fields will be in the string or character format but the actual representation of the data will be different so for example we have a volume we have a uh, week date etc right so we can keep our data based on the real data having said that we'll see how we can implement that so for this demo i took the data from a share market so you can go to yahoo finance and click on the go inside and you can find out any <clears throat> any company that you wish to that you wish to look into that so i always like to look in msft so msft is microsoft so what did i done i just came here and click on historical data okay so once you are in historical data you can download the data that you want on the right side right so you can see uh, there is a download button so you can click that with and download the data so i already downloaded the data for our demo so i'm going to close this let's go to the place where I downloaded so I download the data here that is msft.csv just open this let's see what what are the data it came in in the Excel file right so we have a date field then opening value for that day what is the highest uh, share price what is the lowest share price and what uh, share price at the time of market close then there is an adjustment on the closing side then total volume of shares uh, that traded right now let me close this this is what we are going to pull it into data frame okay don't save now we'll go back to our example so this is the same way i i showed you in the previous example how we can import the data this is a community edition so we don't have azure cloud or aws cloud to store the file so to import the data i just click on the data options available on the left hand side which will open up this window then you can <coughs> click on the data button on the right uh, top uh, right side and once you click you will get this window browse and select the file that you want to analyze it then instead of creating the table with ui select on create table in notebook okay so here is the file the same uh, file now you can look at this schema this is what the scheme i created and for creating the schema first you need to import the uh, types that you want to use it so here i use float type 
integer type and string type right and uh, the other two important thing that we need to consider is struct type and struct field so we need to import all these uh, types here then uh, this is your schema name schema name is equal to struct type struct type and provide all the fields okay so i given the same column name date open high low close adjusted close and volume so provided the respective uh, string type and let execute this okay. so your schema is now ready now the next step is incorporating this schema into your um, statement that creates the data frame so here you can see file location is file store slash table slash msft.csv and uh, file type is csv now infer schema i made it as false because i am imposing the schema from the statement that i created just above so first row is header yes in the file we have the header so i made it as true and uh, the delimiter is comma right now so the only option that I added here compared to my previous video is dot schema and within bracket we are going to give uh, the schema statement that we schema that we created in the previous statement okay so dot schema within bracket share schema so once you execute this then you can see that you got all the data type that you have given here in a, your schema and you got the result set okay so if you have any questions on uh, this video please comment down and uh, i can reply back so thank you for watching and uh, if you like the videos please subscribe and i'll come back with more videos thank you very much